we are going to prioritize what we can and cannot do. And we're going to commit to that. You're not going to work overtime. You're not going to work in the office without pay to get something done, to get something uh, complete and done. You will go home. You have so much pride in your work, and it shows with these awards that I present to you uh, this morning, and I see every day that you're going to have to leave things unanswered and undone, and that's going to be tough. Self-esteem, self-assurance, that <laughs> pride, it's hard, and that's going to chink at the armor, and it's going to continue to chink at it, and that's, again, where we got to come together and say this is what we can and what we cannot do. We did the work we were supposed to do in downsizing our authorizations, our requirements. Therefore, I don't have incentives to provide. So therefore, Vera and VSIP are not, you know, where, where we need to go. It's because we did what was right already. The pure NAF is going to be excluded. Those services that are self-sustaining, like the pet care center, the bowling alley, the clubs, the RV park are going to be excluded from this. Firefighters and police, in order to maintain the safety and security, we are requesting an exclusion from that. Slide. And that's key was may be excluded. Right now, I, I'm focused not on the branches or sequels. I'm focused on what's really in front of us. Yes, that could. Absolutely. We should plan through October. Can it change? Sure, it can change tonight or tomorrow through Friday. It can change if the sequester allows the latitude for uh, the president to make other decisions on how that money, it's all about money, on how that so many billion dollars will be cut up. The furlough will be one day a week, no more than 16 hours per pay period. Therefore, no more than 16 hours per pay period you are not eligible for unemployment. It would take a whole five days uh, per pay period, I think, to be, be unemployed. There are guidelines, uh, and the guidelines have not changed when it comes to uh, part-time employment, is my understanding. I mean, the guidelines are, are remain the same. I think what's going to happen is more folks are going to be looking for that second job. So we're going to have to become very uh, you know, deliberate in counseling uh, those that are getting the, the second job to supplement their income, ensuring that one, it does not interfere with the job you have now, and two, that there is no ethical you know, challenge between that job and the job you have now. In other words, you can't go, if we're working uh, you know, in DPW and you're tied to Melwood somewhere, then you don't go work for Melwood, because then there's an ethical challenge you may have. Those decisions on which day have to be worked between you, the division, and our directors. And then it'll come up to us for you know, that fi either final decision. Uh, I would like to decentralize it as best as possible for that decisions. Um, but it really does come down to the effects and efficiencies of one, the workforce, you, but then also the impact it's going to have. So in other words, it may be more suitable to tell everyone, hey, this building will shut down, that service will shut down for this entire day, as opposed to trying to make it through the entire week. And if there's four of you, one of you take a, a day each day. Now, it, it's a great question. And about all of the other contracts that are happening on the installation and a lot of the construction that's happening, bottom line is it's case by case. And it is not governed by me on whether I keep it or shut it down, those programs, whether it's the, you know, what used to be the golf course, all that work being done or the post exchange, those commands have got to address those directly. And the intent is to keep those programs that have already been funded, funded and, and, uh, and, and um, the work continued. But uh, right now, it's my understanding that those large projects are going to continue as scheduled. Things that are going to touch us. I am absolutely focused on either curtailing or shutting down, whether it's a chapel or a gym or a theater or a CDC. It, you know, we're, we have got to keep everything on the table.
when it comes to this. 